Hi everybody, this is Vicki Woodyard. Peace is important, but not peace at any price. That is what I learned at my mother's knee, that to be helpful to her as a daughter, I shouldn't rock the boat because my father was a very angry man and he tended to direct it towards her. And so she counseled me to keep quiet and not let him see that I was on her side because that would disturb the peace and she wanted peace at any price. Esoterically speaking, when you study your own ego, your false self, you will see that it's always riled up about this or that and that peace is something that the ego can't ever know. It's always struggling to know it but it can't ever nail peace down. Peace was nailed to the cross. That, as I said, it's nailed down. I could see Christ hanging on the cross. The false self will crucify the true self rather than come to know true peace. If you really want to wake up from the dream of life, you have to see what a nightmare it is. <clears throat> you have to see yourself as pure suffering, pure illusion, and that your only chance is to understand on one level or another that you are powerless as a supposed separate self. You have no power. Christ said, all power is given to me on heaven and earth. You know, he, his is the power and the glory. Few people want to walk the hard way, they want the easy way. And Vernon Howard said the hard way becomes the easy way, and the easy way becomes the hard way. So start with witnessing every thought and emotion that goes through your head. They're negative. They're not helping you, they're hurting you. And it's not negative to see that, it's the first positive step you've perhaps made inwardly in your life. It takes a very tough teacher to get you to buckle down and witness your suffering. Ultimately, you're going to get down on your knees and cry out, God help me. God be merciful to me, a sinner. And the Jesus prayer is, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. The ancients knew something about prayer. I fear that we've forgotten humility in today's Facebook reality. We've forgotten that you can read positive statements on Facebook all day long, but it won't teach you to turn within and study your own suffering. I urge you to do that. I write about this a lot. Thank you for listening and namaste.